generic greetings. So this morning I awoke into the lyrical sound of a blackbird fighting a robin outside my window and I got up still feeling like half a human and shuffled downstairs, gained myself one generic unit of beverage and then popped the computer on and did my morning routine which is check emails, check Twitter, check news, things like that and try to wake up and catch up before I start my day. And while I was browsing Twitter I saw a tweet from Daniel Hardcastle aka Nerdcubed saying hey look 3D prison architect and he's not above toying with people so I thought do I want to click on this YouTube link that's almost certainly going to be Rick Astley? Hmm. I signed preemptively to you, sir. 1,000 generic units of fakery. But either way, I clicked on it, I took a punt, and sure enough, it took me to a guy's channel, a link to a video, a guy called um, The Logical Lowdown. Link's in the description because I believe he broke the story, so all credit where credit is due. And I thought, hmm... <clears throat> That's a 2D prison architect, and then he shows you a little bit of it, and then goes, boom, look at this, you can go to 3D prison architect, and I thought, no, there's no way that that exists. I tried it myself, it's real, and I'm going to show you now. So this is one of my prisons, this is uh, update 2 prison, I believe, that I'm currently running on prison architect stock steam version uh, update 4, so you can see this temperature in the top right, and if we go to our logistics and then temperature, we've got temperature controls in there, so this has to be update 4 onwards because well I've only it's all the temperature's only been in since then. In fact if I go to escape you can see on the bottom left there update 4B PC Steam compiled March 3rd 2016. If I go to extras and then to mods you can see that I've got four mods Imperial Architect Star Wars Mental Architect, the PA, Winter Theme Pack, and then the Developer um, options for spawning things if I do special videos. All of them are turned off. This is stock as you like but uh, again, if we go to escape and then extras on the bottom left, there's a little. It looks like a like a dog goes up and then across and then down. Basically, just a little square, and you can you can't see it at all really when you're doing that. You can it just looks like marks in the paper like the rest of it. But if you go over it, you can see it highlights, and you're thinking, what's that all about? Well, if you click that, it will take a while to load, but once it's done, you will get a 3D prison architect. Well. Paint me orange and call me Judith, because that is unbelievable. Apparently, this has been in the game for five months, according to one of the developers. I believe it was Gary Chambers who said, yeah, five months they've took them to discover that. I have heard no more comment, or read no more comment, <clears throat> from IV about what the deal is with this. But, the fact that it is in is pretty astounding. And, you can zoom in. This is the kitchen, there are the chefs wandering around, there's 3D cookers and 3D um, fridges, we've also got uh, 3D, what are them, uh, sinks and such, but you've got 2D bits on it, so you've got that there, which is supposed to be the plate, there's a doctor coming in, so all of the, like, the, the characters, so the doctor, the chefs, the guards, there's some guards in there, they are all 3D, but they're still stylized like prison architects, so they've got, they're basically like um, board game pieces, they're like pawns, they're like, or Monopoly pieces, in, in a sense, and no, there's again 3D chairs and tables, but then you've got 2D uniforms on it. Again, the shadows, but if you've got all these walls and such that. Now, the original history of Prison Architect, I believe, uh, came from uh, a game called Subversion, which was a cancelled game from uh, Introversion many, many years ago. And it wasn't really going anywhere, and they're having problems and stuff. And you can see there's uh, these shower heads, but they're just on the deck. You know, you can see that, and all the all all the dirt and stuff is just plastered on the ground, as you as you can see. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was a 3D game called Subversion, where it's about um, uh, I think it was dynamically generated cities and rooms and objectives and stuff like that. <coughs> And it was obviously with 3D, and then they started doing Prison Architect, I assume using the same tech and stuff, so, you know, you could say that this is a relic from that, but I very, very, very much doubt it. I can't imagine this is anything other than a new edition, because as far as I'm aware, there's never been any attempt to do it in 3D before, at least when it was started, because it was always supposed to be a sort of inspired by Dwarf Fortress and Theme Hospital and stuff like that, which is, you know, 2D. And, well, obviously, the, the, when they say they're inspired by them, they mean the mechanics more than anything else, but as far as I'm aware, I've never seen any uh, 3D versions of it. And these guards and stuff, you know, they wouldn't have been modelled before that, you know, and over, where is it? There's, there's new stuff that's only been added sort of mid to late alpha. Armed guards, they were added in what, alpha 12, 13, 14? So, you know, well after a year of development before they even started that, or yeah, since we got hold of it, it's been developed, you know, a couple of years before then, so... I can only I can only come to the conclusion that it is a, a new, you know a new edition or something they have been working on um, 
it's not just like a legacy thing that they started on then give up. Maybe this is as far as it'll go. I can't see that being the case. I really can't. I, I can't imagine what this would add, though, apart from eye candy. I can't imagine adding more mechanics. Oh, there you go. Look, there's a, there's a dog. There's an actual 3D dog over there trying to get into a cell. It can't be anything other than something they've been working on. Either as a bit of a teaser or something to mess around with or as a bit of a tech thing or... Yeah, it's not just... I, this, this can't just be a legacy thing. Although, to be fair, look... <laughs> She point out now, it's broken. You can't play it like this. I mean, you probably could get away with it, but look at that. Um, <laughs> um, because the game is supposed to be looked at, like, viewed from, like, that angle, um, the sprites for the head don't exactly match up with the body. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and obviously things like the bunk beds and such, they're only 2D. Uh, well, actually, all the beds are, but the toilets aren't. You know, the toilets and sinks aren't there. And it's all in. You know, all that's there. We've got some weird texture stuff over there. We can actually go over to... Uh, here, there you go. Some more 3D stuff there. And we've got... Uh, what's that? That's our power block. Our water. We can go all the way over here. And we can go to foundations. We can go to building brick. And then we can click and drag that. My mouse is actually near the right-hand side, but it's uh, building on the other side as well. Again, because of the because of the angle I'm building, I will place that there. And we'll go to objects and then door, and we'll place a door down. And all that can be placed, and, you know, they're going to come along and fix that. Again, because right-click is drop tool, but right-click is also, like, scroll around, It's um, it doesn't really work that well. But anyway, we'll see what happens. You can see there's guards bringing in sacks, but, they're, they're again, they're just 2D sprites. But the door is 3D, look, so that, that guy's actually carrying a door. And there's all the walls and stuff. And the walls themselves, they have... Um, like deformation in them, like that. Look, they're not ex they're not always straight. So again, if that was like a, just a quick techie stuff, they wouldn't put detail into randomly changing the wall thickness and stuff in places. But anyway, they're going to come along. Ooh, I'm trying to cancel that. Don't want to do that. No, 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 no. So look, they're going to come along. Spin it round. Don't want to cancel it, so I'm having to be a bit careful there. They're going to come along, shuffling over with all of their 2D pallets, and they're going to start building. There you go. But it all works. It's all in. As I said, I, I can't imagine this anything being either something that's going to come later on as an update, like a 3D update, or something that they were just toying with after the fact and decided to leave it. Because I can't imagine what this would add, gameplay-wise. Like, you know, yes, it looks it's 3D and it's really cool, but at the end of the day, it's going to be the same game, just in 3D, you know. And that's not saying that's a, I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. By the way, the game's about to die as this tries to um, put up these walls. Because last time I tried this, it did. Although, to be fair, they're not coming along to finish it, which is problematic. Come on, guys. There we go. Speed up while they do that. And then we'll get game death any second. Game dying. There you go. But look, you've got randomly generated like wall thickness goes in and out. And there's all dirt on it. Yeah. If it was just a quick sort of techie thing to make a 3D, they wouldn't have the walls to do with that. They would just have it straight, straight, straight. Wow. There you go. 3D Prison Architect. Is it a good thing? Oh, yes. This would be really cool. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, my God, it looks like, you know, XYZ. It looks like um, Dungeon Keeper things. Like that. Well, no, the genre is the same. And the fact that you have like, all these rooms and stuff is, you know, that's the whole point, isn't it? But uh, from outside, look, you can see that there's a prison there. Uh, that's, actually this, that's actually the jail bus. But, but if you order things like, um, I don't know, let's just say go to... Materials and I don't know. Is it grass? We'll probably build loads of grass uh, like that. Put loads of grass down like that. Because what I want to do is bring a truck in. Are they going to bring a truck in? Are we going to see a truck? Because the trucks are 3D as well. No, all the grass is just turned up there. Eventually a truck will come along to get rid of that. I want to see a 3D truck. I'm going to try and click on... I'm actually clicking on the box of lights over on the <laughs> over on the far left there, and I'm dumping them, so they'll actually get taken to the garbage. There we go, 3D truck. There you go. I mean, all of the stuff on the back is still 2D, but that is 3D truck. Wheels don't move, but it's all in. It's it's in here, and <laughs> yeah, there you go. I really can't say anything else. That is 3D Prison Architect, and you can try it out. As I said, escape extras you click on that button there it really does make me think now what else are they going to add obviously it's just come to uh, xbox and stuff which doesn't interest me i, I don't have an xbox or anything like that um that, that, you know what i mean I, i'm playing on pc so that's that's me but um 
yeah, I'm very excited to see what they add. And if they do do 3D, is it going to be anything other than just like a 3D version? Like, say, that's not not a problem. Like, I'll take what I can get with this thing. You know, fine, that's really good. I'm very happy to see that. This is this is really cool. But um, would there be like a what? I mean, I imagine you can do this in escape mode. I think you can use it in escape mode, but it's really really glitchy and you can't click on things and stuff. I uh, did load it up once and go, yeah, that just doesn't work. Um, even more than this, but um, let's just try it. Extras escape mode. That load. We're in 2D. Oh, sorry, we're in 3D mode. So, what is it going to break? It's thinking about it. Uh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yep, there you go. Escape mode, 3D. Does work. So you can speed it up. So we're now like the imp of, um, oh god we're in the walls. Yeah, we're now like the imp of Dungeon Keeper. That's us there. That's us. So I'm just going to get taken to our cell and then uh, we'll be, be able to walk around. That's a nerd hunch there, look at that. <laughs> and we'll get brought up here. There's the dog. There's our cell. And then boom, yeah, we can walk around like that. So we're, we're getting, you know, like... We're touching all the walls. I'm getting to hit my other cell. We get the idea. You know, we can walk around like that. It doesn't work properly because the controls are based on the 2D plane. So, like, left, right, up, down. But if I'm done like that, left actually goes up because of, you know, it's it's never supposed to be looked at anything other than that. That is the angle you're supposed to look at. At. But there you go. 3D Prison Architect. I've shown you how to do it. You press escape, you go to extras, and you click on that button there. What are we going to see after this? I have no idea, but I'm excited to find out. Thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.